three architecture students uh, who visited Italy for 11 days and we will know more about your trip and about your uh, education and about yourself. Uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, Nuran, would you tell us uh, why did you choose uh, architecture uh, in specific? Why did you choose that major to study? Uh, actually, it was a dream since I was a child. I always wanted to be an engineer. And uh, then I discovered I was uh, I can draw. So um, I decided to uh, that uh, architecture, uh, studying architecture, will be the best to, to be an engineer. So you found yourself talented yeah. in, in, in uh, drawing, in, yeah. in uh, design, in, and so on? Yeah, actually, yeah. I, I, I. Uh, Gina, do you think uh, there are certain aspects and uh, characteristics in an architect uh, that should be there, like should he be gifted or something? Or is it something that you learn uh, by time or you learn through education? No, I think that he must be creative and, um, and can work under pressure and uh, think deeply in any design and work quickly for the submissions and <laughs> things mm -hmm. like that. Uh, Christine, you must have had something in your mind uh, before uh, uh, choosing architecture in specific. What was it and what's the difference between uh, what you had in mind and when you were in the real thing, in studying architecture? Um, I th um, at the beginning I thought it was all about uh, art, to know how to draw, color or stuff when I was young. Um, then um, uh, in college it didn't change much. Um, uh, drawing and sketches and stuff, but um, it's more about creating a design, it's more about uh, being creative and, and creating uh, a new building, having your own language and uh, in creating buildings. Mm -hmm. And Nuran, would you tell us about the, the trip, more about the trip to Italy? Uh, how did, did you prepare for it? How did you know about it at the beginning? And uh, how did you take approval from your parents to go and so on? Actually, um, uh, the doc uh, my doctor uh, suggested to go on a trip um, to uh, know about Italian history. Um, first, I was excited to go. Then, uh, uh, I was more interested to go when I know my friends uh, are going to. Um, uh, and my parents' uh, approval is uh, uh, is very easy because they don't mind. Uh, uh, they don't mind. Um, educational trips at all. Right, okay, then we'll go to a short uh, trip about uh, Italy and we'll be right back. Italy has a very broad and diverse architectural style which cannot be simply classified by period or region. Italy is known for its considerable architectural achievements such as the construction of arches, domes and similar structure during ancient Rome and the founding of the Renaissance architectural movement in the late 14th to 16th century. Several of the finest works in Western architecture such as the Colosseum, the Duomo of Milan, Florence Cathedral and the building designs of Venice are found in Italy. Italy has an estimated total of 100,000 monuments of all varieties, museums, palaces, buildings, statues, churches, art galleries, villas, fountains, historic houses and archaeological remains. Rome is a city and special commune in Italy. It's the capital with 2.8 million residents. It's also the country's largest and most populated commune and fourth most populous city in the European Union by population within city limits. Rome is referred to as the eternal city, a notion expressed by ancient Roman poets and writers. More than two and a half thousand years since its founding in 753 before Christ with the union of rural villages. It was the capital city of the Roman kingdom.
welcome back. Uh, Nurana, would you tell us uh, your observations about Italy, uh, about uh, the traffic, the people, uh, the, the security and the street, and if we compare this to Egypt? Uh, here in Egypt, our uh, transportation almost uh, depends on uh, taxis, but there it's all about buses. There is no traffic at all. Um, the people, are, uh, I think, uh, all the Mediterranean people uh, all uh, look alike. Um, yeah, uh, and what's your opinion, Zina, about Italy? About uh, how, what's your impression about the country? If you compare it to Egypt, I think here we are we are more secure uh, country. Um, so you didn't feel secure over there? No, at all. Especially in Rome, because it's uh, a touristic country and uh, pickpockets. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did you did you uh, encounter any? Uh, uh, yeah, our colleagues. Yeah, yeah. they was. But something was stolen. Probably. Yeah, they in were the stolen. Or just walking. No, the um, the mainly in the underground. And uh, only one was stolen down the street. Okay, mm. so so it was not really very secure. Yeah, but in Florence and Venice, we didn't face anything like that there. Mm -hmm. uh, Christina, what's your impression about the country, about Italy, about uh, the streets, about the people? Uh, it's cleaner. Um, uh, the people are um, they are very friendly. They they can help you um, here. Any, um, um, they're like, they're, like they're welcoming. Uh, they're welcoming, and they can help you if you're if you're even even if they don't speak the, the language. Still, they are welcoming uh, you as tourists. Uh, uh, they all speak English. Yeah. They all speak English. Oh, that's, that's uh, very good. But I think that uh, they are welcoming mainly in Florence. They're like a big family and there, then. and uh, yeah, and then. In Rome, we didn't see many Italians there. there they were more like uh, tourists, tourists Indian. Indians, and Japanese, Chinese. Uh -huh. yeah. uh -huh. Dina, would you tell us also about the Biennale exhibition? Uh, yeah, it, uh, it's, uh, it was established in 1980, the uh, architecture section. Uh, and then, but uh, it took part in the art section in, uh, since 1968. Uh, it's an occasion where architects and designers can showcase their projects in uh, different pavilions mm -hmm. uh, with different themes uh, presented uh, representing their countries. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, it was uh, the main theme uh, this year uh, was the common ground. It was the 29th uh, exhibition. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that's it. <laughs> Okay, Nuran, would you tell us about uh, Rome? Uh, Rome, I think, is uh, uh, one of the most famous Italian cities for architecture. Uh, what were the most important uh, architectural sites that you've seen there? Um, uh, the, the most famous one uh, for me was the Colosseum, the amphitheater. Uh, also, the Pantheon, which is a church, um, the first circular church. Um, and um, the, there are many churches, historical uh, churches like St. Peter's. Um, the Vatican. Yeah, the, the Vatican. Vatican. Yeah. yeah. Right. And uh, St. Peter's had many illusions there that uh, we, we were inspired there from this. Michelangelo's work. Yeah. Michelangelo's work. What would you tell us more about? I, my, I know he, uh, he, there's a very famous uh, drawing uh, in in the ceiling of one of the very big churches over there for Saint Michelangelo, Peter. Saint Peter's chur Church. Yeah, um, it's full of uh, the drawings of Saint Ma of uh, Michelangelo. Um, uh, he uses drawings that um, they are full of illusions that you you think the the the, the ceiling is straight and. Or you think it's it's domed, or you think it's 3D, then it's um, it's then strange. you find out it's it's 2D. Mm -hmm. um, um, his work is more popular in Rome um, mm -hmm. with the churches and stuff. Mm -hmm. And in Florence also, uh, he had many works in Florence and the church. Michelangelo. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Would you tell us more about Florence? Uh, it was more about uh, si it's like natural uh, places there and there was a hill there with 
Yeah. And, then and the dome was the center of the of the city there. There yeah. was a famous statue there uh, for Michelangelo on the hill, which is very famous. Uh, uh, it was a large piazza there. Uh, in, in Florence. Yeah. yeah. In Florence. Uh -huh. People gathered mainly on this hill uh, to see uh, the green area there and uh, they from from us from above. From it's above. different when you see it from the hill than w and when you're going around in the in the city. Mm -hmm. um, Florence is um, um, is most um, you know, more popular with the with the buildings on the on the bridges and and the colorful churches and the, from its facades and mm -hmm. uh, its colors. Uh, people go up the hill to to see the view from from up there and take pictures of it. Right. Yeah, it's you relaxing. visit Rome, Venice, and Florence. Yeah. Yeah. So, which city did you like the most? Yeah. Venice. 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 Uh, Florence. And I like Florence. Yeah. Why? Um, I think it's more beautiful than than Venice. Venice, it's um, uh, the architecture is is more uh, is more creative and more artistic. 